Hi friends, welcome back to our table. Okay, I'm going to fill you in. I have my, um, I did cleansing with everything, but I always do, but I did anyway again um, with my sage. And um, <clears throat> mostly because of what happened yesterday, which I'm going to explain to y'all here. Um, I'm going to put this back over here. Um, yesterday I posted that a young girl had come to me uh, again looking for her body. And I felt like she had something to do with Mr. Epps. And this disturbed me and bothered me. And of course, you know, I don't like to get into that energy. And so I had asked, should I read on this tomorrow? And y'all, well, I removed that because I had it in the community. Because Miriam came to me and apparently she dealt with <laughs> She ended up dealing with her. And as far as what I can understand, she was a young girl and she was pregnant. Her body is in the water. And because she was pregnant, she felt she needed her body in order to get her baby. Oh, I wouldn't even know what to tell her about <laughs> But anyway, Miriam handled it. So I removed that down. And I just wanted to tell y'all and explain to y'all so you know what happened. Now, <laughs> I said Ivanka was going to be the one that turns and flips. I'm going to stand by that, y'all. This is getting very exciting now. So now is when we want to read on them. And we want to know what's going on. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to read on them. <laughs> okay. So... Let's, I'm going to see, I'm going to use my um, Gypsy Oracle card. Well, I'm going to use several decks, but for right now, I'm going to use the Gypsy Oracle deck. Um, and we're going to see what is her plan? What is she, how is, um, I know, what do I call her? What does the boss daughter What is she thinking? There's a reason why I call her the boss daughter, but you probably understand it. <laughs> Goodness. Ooh. Thirteenth card. Um, when I do my gypsy oracle deck, I do three rows of four, so that's twelve cards, and then the thirteenth card. If I read these and the 13th card doesn't seem to have anything to do with it, I will question the reading. I may do it again or I may just tell you um, I'm not sure about this reading and may do it later. But it's just a, a way for me. If it connects and ties in and makes sense, then I'm good. <laughs> I'm golden. <laughs> so we'll do that. Okay. Oh, this is so telling, friends. We are going to be so happy. Yes. Now listen, we just need to be happy about justice and all of this stuff that has just... It's such a burden for all of us. And it's absolutely draining is over. Be happy about that. We can't be happy that somebody... No, no, we can't do that. But we can be... <laughs> happy that this is about to come to an end and justice is going because justice is important and i want justice to be done here yeah we need justice okay 
I'm imperfect, y'all. I'm an imperfect. I told y'all this from the beginning. <laughs> um, the first card is the money card. Okay. I'm going to have to explain this because I don't know how many people have joined me that don't understand how I read um, the Gypsy Oracle deck. So I will explain each and every one. This is the money card. You see the money on the table. So there's money on the table. So my guess is a lot of things that she did, boss daughter, that she did was about money. Now, this table that the money is on is in a room. And rooms are about things that are hidden. Now let me explain. You don't see the rooms in the house until you go in the house. And then you don't see all of the rooms then until you go into the room. Okay? So I hope that makes sense to y'all. So something about money and it's been a lot of it's going to be about money and being hidden. <clears throat> this is the conversation card. You see our ladies gossiping. I call it my gossip card. So there is talk already going around. So I'm not the only one that's getting. She's going to flip. She's going to turn him in. She's going to do the right thing. Um, this is the soldier card. She's been a good soldier for her father. But she's about to change. And that's not going to be routine in any way, shape, or form. And she's going to turn on the old man. This is the old woman. It can be an old man. It can be an old situation. You know? So, just because you see a woman and it says old woman, it doesn't mean. It can also be an old man. It's just representing an older person or an older situation. Servant. She felt like she served his purposes and she did the best she could do for him. But now she's going to do it for herself. The room card. Oh, of course the room card's going to be here, right? The room card. Secrets. Things hidden. She knows them. They're coming out. The death card. Now, let me first say, 99.99% of the time, the death card has nothing to do with an actual death. It has to do with an ending of a situation and a new beginning. This death card has multiple purposes and feelings to me, which is why I went, oh, it's not a, just that it's the death card. There is an ending here. So, what I want to tell you is, one, her turning on the family, because it's not just her father. There are other people involved, and her brothers. Her turning on the family is going to be a horrible ending, both for her and for them. It's also about cleaning the slate. Let's wipe the slate clean and start all over again. That's what she's wanting to do. And I'm going to go back because I'm feeling that with this card too. She is willing to be punished and serve time as long as she can do it at home and be with her children. I think this is what she's going to do. Now, what I did not understand is um, how she got around to being the only one to do it. Okay, well, we already know that Sunny has pleaded the fifth when he testified. And the other one, <laughs> Sundani, he has not testified at all yet. So she's in the perfect place to say, I will tell you the truth, not just about this, but about everything. Everything I know. 
I know I deserve punishment, and if I do have to have punishment, all I'm asking is that I serve it at home so I can be with my kids. And I think they're going to make that deal with her. The next card is faithfulness. She was faithful to her father. She was what he always thought would replace him. That's how faithful she was. But the misfortune is about to happen. This woman knows and understands we're caught. The other ones aren't quite getting that. They still think they can delay, lie, or whatever. She knows they're caught in so many ways, which is why she's willing to give the truth on everything. The January 6th, the company, she's willing to give it all. Just let me serve my time at home so I can be with my kids. They're going to make this deal with her, I'm telling you. Service. So this is someone that works for the people. Okay, they're going to make the deal with her because they feel like everything that they get, which will help get everybody, and she doesn't have to get off. I'm not sure if she, she would not have to get off or to even have the monitor and serve the time at home, but that's what I saw too. Remember when I told y'all I saw her visiting the three of the, the three males in jail? And when she walked away, as she was walking off, I could see the monitor on her ankle. So that's why I think that's exactly what they will do. And she will be of service to the people also. She will tell the truth, I'm telling you. Gifts. She will, she's going to be able to get what she wants, okay? It, it, they will work with her because she's willing to turn over, flip, give up everything. It's a dream come true. And consistency. She'll be consistent. Um... She'll be consistent in the truth now because she knows she needs to. The 13th card, here we go again, hope. This is no matter how bad something looks, there's always hope. So no matter how bad or dire the situation, and you can see dire situation, there's always hope. And there is always hope. But that's big trouble. Okay, so it goes, I'm okay with that. We're good. I thought I would have to use other cards. I really don't. I really don't. I, I think she is getting ready. I think she's going to give everything up. So, since I have an answer here and don't need to dig in anymore. Oh. Let's see what 45 is going to do. Let's see how 45 is going to... How, I don't... I'm being drawn to do the Kipper deck for some reason. But okay. Oh, there's the main man right there. Okay, okay, okay. And I'll do a little, okay, I don't know, there, there we go, main man, main female, we're not going to need the main female, okay, what is 45 going to do when his boss daughter talks? What is 45 going to do when his boss daughter Talks. Okay. Huh. 
<laughs> I don't do a 13th card with these, so, you know, don't. Um, so right off the bat, we have the privileged lady. Boss daughter. Okay. Great fortune. Luck. I mean, she is just the luckiest person. This makes me wonder if she's going to even have to wear a bracelet. Sudden wealth. Now, sudden wealth doesn't have to mean money. It's like you hit the jackpot, but you can hit a jackpot on a lot of things. Like I said, I think they're going to accept and do what she wants because she's got the luck. I think she's going to. <clears throat> uh, the wealthy man. This, believe it or not, is not 45. So somebody else she's going to turn in is going to be in trouble. Forty-five. He's going to be in trouble. Interesting enough, above him, the great luck. This, this fortune, this great, this is one of the luckiest. I mean, you, it's just a really lucky card. And it's on top of him, so it's always been there. Uh, but she's going to cancel that out. Because... They're going to be indicted, going to jail. Yeah, that luck is no longer there. <laughs> the official person. This might end up being a judge. Because I feel like somebody with authority is kind of bringing the hammer down on him. Journey. He is going on a different kind of journey. He's not going on the journey he originally wanted to go on. And that will put him in bad health. Which fits right in, y'all. I, I still have to go with what my cards tell me. I think he's going to be arrested. I think something is coming down. Either something from a judge, you know, an official person that tells him no. And he's going to end up having to go to jail. But this puts him in really bad health. Now, this bad health is bad because he's bedridden. And it's kind of like an ending. And I don't know why. But, listen, this is good. This kind of reading on the T's, we can do. <laughs> we just don't want to get into, you know. So, I think it's going to start happening. So, let's continue to, to watch. Now, I want to say something just because I, I can be a little... Okay, wait a minute. I need to get the main man out so that he's not... Where is he? There he is. Okay. So what I do, I always put the main woman because of the way the cards need to be done. So, now what was I going to say? I have no idea what the heck I was going to say. Oh, I want to... I know what I was going to say. Okay, and I'm going to say it. Um, I didn't appreciate the way they questioned Biden in that news conference. I didn't think that was good. I didn't like what they did. I, I actually felt like that was rude. 
um, they were just really rude to him. And he talked a long time. I don't have a problem. It, I don't feel like he's senile or anything, y'all. I do wish, which I had said before, that he had started this last year because we knew it was going to be an issue. We knew it was going to be hard. We knew they were going to fight it. So the sooner you start on it, the better, in my opinion. It was just my opinion. But that's just a, um, you know, the way I feel about a certain, you know, thing that I wish he had started earlier. I love Biden. And I didn't like the way they treated him in that news conference. And I think... I think they need to make it clear that you need to understand he is the president of the United States. Those cheap shots were so low. You should not invite them back to ask any questions ever again. Now, anyway, that was just my opinion and my feeling. On <laughs> okay. So, I am still waiting and hoping that we... Um, they televise the hearings. I think that will be great. I think that will help people um, realize that, hey, there is something going on. And I think that will change people's minds. I'm just saying. Okay, let's get a message for the viewers. A message for my viewers. By the way, if I haven't told y'all, I love y'all. Y'all are so awesome message for my viewers yep let's do it well i keep getting this soul relation soul mate relationship new ro new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now so y'all must a lot of you must be around your soul mate maybe you don't know it and that's what they're wanting me to make sure you know is look at your soul mate there's there's there's, there's something more there. <laughs> but anyway, that's good news. So I'm all happy with that. So as I said, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Y'all are why I'm here. Y'all are why I want to be here. Okay. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, and share. Till the next time, friends. Thanks. Are you happy, YouTube? I said it. Please like, subscribe, and share. <laughs>